this is just what I do. Uh, if I don't do it, I'm not happy. It's a release. It's pretty. It pretty much boils down to being that simple. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why I do it. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> You don't have to, I guess. I don't know. I just, it's just something I feel like doing. I guess I like doing it because, like, I'm the same as you, like, I feel like it's somewhat of a release in a way, and uh, I've always been told that I couldn't, and it's kind of like, oh yeah, fuck you, I can't. That's, so. been a, that's been a big motivator for me for a long time. Proving people wrong is a, is a, big, is a big motivator. It's enjoyable. <laughs> it is. I've never been told I couldn't do it. Um, I've always taken the approach that, like, if I'm on a stage and you're in the audience, then I win, you know. <laughs> you're watching me. I'm not watching you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Good point. Well, that's like a, a I guess. clear way of putting it, I guess. How about you guys? Oh, the... What's... I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things like uh, you, know, you go to work, pay bills, get wrapped up in stresses of daily life, and then you play music and it's like all that goes away. Uh, it's just, it's like something in me that I gotta let out. I totally agree with that. And the loudness of it is good too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really, I just, I've learned that I'm not a happy person if I don't have a creative outlet, so this is, and I don't, and side by side with that is I don't know how to not do this totally seriously. I don't do it for a hobby. You know? like I, so the problem is that I can't always find that. I can't always find the this, this, this serious situation that's actually trying to achieve things. So I, when I can't and I'm not doing anything, it's not good for my brain at all. It doesn't make me a happy person. I mean, I like writing lyrics because, like, I mean, you guys say, you know, you can escape reality and shit, but I kind of like poking fun at it through that. And it's like, it's the, it, it's kind of taboo to talk about certain things, you know? But, like, if it's through song and people relate to it, it's like, oh shit, you know? Fuck yeah, I, I totally get it. And I really like that element of, like, writing stuff in general. Like, shit, I mean, poetry, lyrics, writing in a journal, anything like like that, just like letting it completely out, letting it go, you know what I mean? That's that's what it is for me anyway. Not that like our songs are super like intelligent or anything. They're just they are what they you, are, can, but... you can make fun of a lot of things <laughs> that with music. On how you, look at it. you can make fun of things that no, you know you wouldn't normally make fun of in polite conversation, but if it's in a song, it's okay because it's art. You can say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> So the one person I'm missing to get <laughs> answers. <laughs> yeah, I didn't the forget about you. The shy one over here. <laughs> <laughs> about playing music? Yeah, what keeps you? Well, I actually just started playing music again because I, I mean, I played when I was younger. I literally did not pick up a bass for what six years, seven years. Yeah. Until I started playing with them. So. Until we talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, yes. it was literally like a... It was serendipitous. I was like... I went to the beach with them, and they mentioned something about needing a bassist. And I was like, oh, well, I used to play bass. And it was, what? <laughs> play bass? Yeah, and we particularly wanted a fucking female bassist, because obviously a lot of my lyrics are kind of... Um, that was the dynamic that was already established, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, that was it was the most awesomely accidental thing ever. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was very 